Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 29 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, where today I'm getting ready to build a windmill. As you can see over there, I've got some foundations laid out. Uh, I've, got, I've got plans, after I take a little nap, um, for what I want it to be built with, hopefully, and uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. I honestly have no idea if I'm going to be good at this or not, but I'm going to make an effort. I'm going to make an effort, guys. We're going to do our best to make this work. Hello, gold crafter. That's cool. Basic smelting factory crafter. Uh, I'm making a basic smelting factory. Why, you ask? Well, take a guess, because it's a little bit faster than our thermal smelter. Uh, and I need to smelt a lot of things, because the thing I chose to make is going to be a uh, hefty... Uh, by way of smelting. There's going to be a lot of smelting involved. So what I'm going to do is move all my patterns out of here and put them right there. Does that sound cool? I like that. Uh, so now when we smelt things, it should go in here nice and quick. So let's do that. And what I'm going to try making is Gabbro from Create. This stuff looks like it would be a cool, cool kind of thing. Uh, so there's some stone cutting recipes for it. Uh, it's or dictionary with smooth stone, it looks like, so it can do lots of stuff. Um, but there's there's obviously a bunch of different kinds of gabros, which you can see in JEI over there. Because it's or dictionary, you're seeing all the other stuff. But you can get like polished gabro, which looks nice. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not 100% sure about this, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to see We're gonna see if this looks cool. So it's just smelted uh, granite which I'm gonna pop over here, and then we're gonna ask for a stack of that stuff, and we're gonna see how nicely you behave. Nice, not too shabby, right? Now that's at max speed and max energy. Now if we wanted to, uh, what we could do is make a couple tier upgrades uh, to make this go even faster. So what we could make is this, and then potentially one of these. I'm listening for it to be done crafting. There you go. There's your elite tier. Let's make another advanced. Hey, I said control click. There you are. Thank you. So boop and boop. Nice. Look at that. That is uh, a lot of things. Uh, so, oh, right. Uh, what I need to do is configure you so that the back is output blue and that should be cool and that's awesome all right cool so now if i asked for gabbro it's control shift click let's ask for two more stacks of it just for giggles uh and you'll see how awesome that is that's pretty cool and what's nice is the crafter is keeping up with the insert sometimes it doesn't and i think that's because of the gold mechanic of it like i think it's it's inserting faster but i'm not a hundred percent sure what we'd have to test is if we use a normal crafter here, maybe we should test that just, just to be sure, because I'm not actually sure, to be honest with you. But if we made a normal crafter here and we, we put the Gabbro in there, would that, would that insert into here just as fast? That's a good question. Where's this? So if I said, hey, give me a bunch of Gabbro now, two more stacks of it. See how it's not keeping up? See how it's, it's not inserting fast enough? Uh, so, wow, that's kind of cool, actually. That's a huge deal. Uh, that makes that makes for some really good reasons to use gold crafters, doesn't it? That is awesome. Hey, why are you stuck on Elite Control Circuit? Mm, I'm not going to worry about it, though. But that's awesome. That That's probably what it means when it says... Um, base speed 5x. So that means it inserts items five times faster than the regular crafter, right? And a diamond crafter would insert items 25 times faster, which is also cool. I like, I like everything about that I like, if I'm being honest. Everything about that I like. So Gabbro, let's check this stuff out. How does it look? Do you think this would be a cool material to make a windmill out of like I googled windmill pictures and they're not 
it's not uncommon for them to be built with like this color to them. Like you can really build windmills however you want, obviously, but you know, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so let's build a windmill. So we've got building gadgets, right? Which are cool beans. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exchange you for Gabbro. Uh, now what I was thinking, can I recent jetpacks, simply jetpacks, can I adjust the volume on you or are you just mutable? I could have sworn there was like, I could just lower it, but maybe that's another mod I'm thinking of. Stop muffling recent. I can do the anchor thing. Cause like, I like it but it's sometimes a little bit loud. Well, I guess muting wins the day. Uh, so let's get you placed. So if I were to bump this dude up, right? Uh, and I wanna make sure that you are, uh, fuzzy is off. So it only replaces blocks that match the block I'm looking at, right? Wow, did we run out of that stuff already? Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of this. <laughs> we're gonna need a real lot of this if we're making a windmill this big, right? How do, would that be a cool looking windmill? Like just kind of going straight up. Um, so it's like sort of cylindrical, but not like straight up cylindrical. Uh, you know, I could make it a little bit more cylindrical if I like cut the corners a little bit harder. Um, and this is this is dire, just not being good at. Not being good at building, but I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Uh, that would mean cutting out this piece and this piece as well. That's also doable. That might be that might be better, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six going across there. So that would be not quite that much. Yeah. Do we think this looks better? Dyer doesn't know. Would that look a little bit better? I think that looks a little bit better, honestly. I'm hoping I can fit all my machines inside, but remember, I can get rid of that entire water mill once I get the windmill pit up and running. And I want the windmill, like the, the actual windmill itself, to be on the front. So that's going to be on this side. So it's going to be spinning up here, and then the rotational force will come down into this general area, probably like around here or somewhere. And we'll have a door in the front. Yeah, I think that could look pretty cool. All right, that works for me. So now for building gadget, let's make sure that we've got you in surface mode. Connected surface, fuzzy off. That should be cool. I just wanna add place on top. That looks good, right? Now, I don't know how tall I want this to be but we'll figure it out. We are gonna need a lot more of this. That shouldn't be a problem though, because I have a lot of granite, because I've been storing it in my, in, in the this thing. I had like 3,000-ish of it, and I took it all out and stuck it in here. So we still got like 1.5K of it. Man, look how fast that's crafting, I love it. All right, guys, we're making progress here, as you can see. It's looking pretty good, right? Yeah, not too shabby. I guess we'll see how it looks once it's all complete, but we're totally going to need another bunch of this stuff. All right, I will continue and be back in a minute when I'm done building up this platform, which shouldn't be too much longer. Now... The next thing we need to do is build a roof of some sort. And I want to check out Macaw's roofs, because that sounds cool. Oak Plank's attic roof, that looks neat. Oak Plank's cube roof, Oak Plank's top roof. There's a lot of roofs in here. A lot of roofs, if you will. Um, so if I were to put all these crafting ingredients away, and while I'm burning through RF like nobody's business just floating here, I really need to like sit still for a minute. Um, but if we if we if we take a look at these roofs, uh, 
Uh, let's take a look at you. Let's try a couple of these just to see what they look like. Um, that looks cool. I want to make. I want to get a couple of them. Frankly, I just want to. I want to see what some of these look like in world, just so I can envision how they look. Right. I'll just get a couple of each just to just have an idea. Right. Um, lower roof, huh? I don't know what that means, but we'll figure it out. Steep roof. I like that idea. I like the idea of a steep roof. All right, cool. So let's uh, let's place some of these and see what they look like. So this is the regular roof. We're gonna try. We're gonna try this, right? Well, that's neat. Okay. And then we're definitely gonna want an axe of some sort if we're gonna be making things. Osmium axe. That works. So I'm trying to imagine. Is there like a cool way to? make you behave and just like build out or do I have to do something like this which is fine if I do that's neat though right that's a cool looking thing and then I can obviously remove the supports here um, now if we wanted to we could throw a couple windows in here that would be kind of cool oh yeah that's neat I like that look at that that's cool all right so option another option here would be this top roof whatever that is Oh, that's that. Okay. Now that makes sense. That's cool. I think I'm gonna be ready with you. All right, so now that I know those look like three-way and four-way roof. So a three-way roof looks like that. And a four-way roof looks like that. Okay, I got you. So those guys would fit well like on the top of a house. And then there's lower roof and steep roof. That's interesting. He wants to be he wants to be placed such that both blocks have a support. Like it's not letting me place it in that direction. Which is fine. This jetpack is almost Oh, there we go. That's kind of cool. I got it. A module has settled. Yay, flimsy handle. Okay. So that's cool. And then steep roof. How does that look? Yeah, I kind of like the idea of a steep roof. What do you guys think of that? I like, I kind of like that plan. Well, no, because then it'll take longer to get to a top. So actually, I don't want a steep roof. I think I want the normal roof. All right, that's cool. Now, the good news is building gadgets seems to have no problem extending it along. So that's neat. Okay, and undo works. Nice. Yeah, no problems there. All right, so we're going to make... Um, a few more of these guys. So let's make sure that we know how they're going to link up, right? So, and then th these corners are going to be a little bit tricky, aren't they? Like, how do I build a roof such that these corners work? We're going to have to figure that out. We're going to have to figure that out for sure. Uh, we'll figure it out, though. We'll get some more of that. There's also a cube roof there. Okay, good times. So what I've found is if we do something like this, it works pretty well, right? That looks pretty good, I think. And then we can extend it out that way. Yeah, that looks cool to me. But not like that. Get back to you. Yes. Can I rotate this by chance with a wrench? Because that would be, oh yes I can. Oh, yes, I can. Well, that makes life easier, doesn't it? That makes life way easier. So I like that kind of a plan, right? And then what we could do is maybe, not you, but you get what I mean. Yeah, that looks good to me. All right, so I just have to figure out how I'm going to build this roof, because I really don't get it. But we'll figure it out. Back in a minute. All right, so what I'm finding is that these things have like an automatic cornering kind of deal. So if you place them the right way, they will automatically corner, kind of like stairs in vanilla Minecraft. So I think if you do like this and this, this dude will become a corner. That's cool. That's kind of cool. All right, that's neat. Um, and then there's like another corner that happens... I haven't quite figured out, but it's like it automatically goes to that mode. See, that's neat. Okay, just got to play with it a little bit. 
All right, guys, I think I got the hang of it. If this guy faces that way, and this guy faces that way, we get the effect that we're after, right? This guy faces that way, and this guy faces that way. That's kind of cool. And then this way, that way. And then that way. Ish. Kind of. Getting there. I mean, that was kind of cool, right? Getting there. All right, I'm embarrassed to say how long this took me to figure out how to do, but I think that looks all right, yeah? Does that look cool? I think so. I think so. The good news is we can mostly... The corners are really tricky to place correctly, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's not terrible. You just have to place them right, and it might just be Dyer's lack of vanilla knowledge knowing how to make cool looking corners like this but you know we'll figure it out the point is i think i got it i think by george he's got it actually i didn't want to do whatever i just did there we go how's that looking pretty good man i hope i want this sloped roof So then what we're going to want, yeah, I mean, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. It's, uh, it's a thing. It's a little bit of a thing. But we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, so let's see if I can, let's see if I can replicate what I've just done. Because that sounds like a good time, right? I think so. So basically we want to do this. And these kind of place like stairs. And you can even see they have like a stairs kind of outline if you're looking at the bounding box there. And this is just dire not knowing vanilla so all that well. But meh, we'll get there. Now why are you being a little bit funny? Because this should be about right, yes? Actually, that piece is a corner. So what I should really be doing is copying you guys and then removing most of these. And if the durability of my axe is no indication as to how long I've been doing this, I don't know what is. All right, cool. All right, so what we wanna do is Facing this way, hit that, and then facing this way, hit that. Is that right? I think so. Yep. So then that and that. And make sure to like click on the bottom of the bounding box of the stairs, and you should be cool. Things I do to build pretty buildings for you guys, and I'm sure a lot of people will be like, but Dyer, it's still ugly. Well, I tried. Cool, got it. So that's that's the gist. Okay, and and they'll look like slopes until you place the next one. So like when you place it like that, and that was me facing the wrong direction. So make sure your directionality is correct. It's a little bit tricky with this jetpack. It's a little too fast actually for precision movement. I don't know if there's like a good way to slow it down, but we'll see. I think it's just uh, an excuse to get an angel ring sooner than later. Right, that looks pretty good. 
Now I think I need to add What I'm going to do is add a row here like that, and then you guys That's not quite right. Ish. Is that what I did over here? <clears throat> I don't think so, but we'll see. We'll see if that works out. Now, because that's not right there. It's a little tricky to do this part right. But what you got to do is get in there like this. Like I said, a little tricky to do this part, right? I'll figure it out. Oh yeah, I remember how I did the last one now. So you do this, 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 this. It's counterintuitive because like you wouldn't think that you would want to place the block like this, but then you place it here and you're cool. Got it? And then the last one goes up like that. Does that look good? I hope so. And then the top can kind of be just like flat roofs, I guess. And then it should be cool to just copy these dudes and build them out like so. How am I for, uh, pretty good, but I'm gonna run low in a minute. I should make it. Nope, not that. That, yes, cool. All right, I'm gonna finish this off camera and we'll be back when it's done. All right, it took a million years, but I think it's good. I think it's good, it looks cool to me. All sides look nice. All right, yes, yes, I call that, I call that a roof. Boy, I hope you guys really appreciate this roof. Like I want you to just spend hours glaring at the amazingness of this roof because this is the most beautiful roof you've ever seen in your lives, right? Like just the best, the best ever roof. Pretty sure that's an accurate statement. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool, right? Uh, and then maybe like right up on the top, we could have like a feral flare lantern. That might be cool. I like the sound of that, right? Glass should craft nice and quickly. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything in particular that we need on the roof here, but if we threw a feral flare lantern on, I think that would be a cool way to just light up the whole the whole shebang, right? Now, I don't know what the roof looks like in terms of sizing, but you know what we could do is we could use our tape measure, which I haven't mentioned that I made yet. How big is this roof corner to corner? It is a 13 by 13. Nice. So actually, I did place that guy nice and centered. Dude, I'm just getting really good at placing things in the center of areas. I'm just saying. I'm just saying I'm getting good at that, okay? I'm just saying I'm getting kind of good at it. All right, so this area should now light up all the way inside, in theory. It'll, the Feral Flare Lantern will work its way down, I think. I think it'll work its way into this whole building. We'll find out. If not, I can always put it in the roof, right? I can center the Feral Flare Lantern on the roof inside and that should work too, but I think it'll cover the inside here. So now that that's all done, whew, been a while. Uh, let's have a little snack, a little potato-y snack, and decide what's next. Um, so I might throw some windows and stuff in here from, from a cause. Because there's windows and like windows roofs. What are these guys called? Eh, they're just called roof. They don't have the word window in them. I was kind of hoping they would. But if we made more of these dudes, right? These are what I want to make more of. You know, just because I thought it would be nice. So 
So what we could have is maybe like here. Would that be cool? So then it's one, two, three down, one, two up. Or should we do, because these are like six, right? They're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah. So then two, two, and four. That's kind of cool, right? And then what I'm thinking is maybe we could exchange and gadget these guys. And what I should be able to do, can I do a vertical column? No, because he doesn't go straight up and down. So then what I should do is just make it tool range one. Now that's one, two, three, four, five on that side, and that's one, two, three, four, five on that side. That's kind of cool looking, right? You know, or I could just do something like that. Yeah, that looks kind of cool, right? I like that. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go do that elsewhere. Now, as, as a reminder, the rotation of the thing matters. So if you're gonna do this, you have to place one correctly and then, whoops, not what I wanted to do. Undo. You were supposed to be exchanging gadget, buddy. Boop. Like that. And then like that, that should do, yeah. Now another thing to note, and I just happen to have my stone cutter in here, so I wanna try it out. I think this will work, or do I need like the create stone cutter? So there's a, there's a framed glass from create. So that's not the stone cutter, that's the grindstone. You get the idea. So you have framed glass? What's that do? Oh yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Connected textures, booyah. Now I, I think like regular glass, if you don't have silk touch going on, you can't, you can't with that. But what I could do, just to make sure that any future problems do not arise, I can silk touch my exchanging gadget, in theory. In theory, I can silk touch you. That should be the only thing he can accept. Yes, beautiful. I guess it's time to test if that works. <laughs> so here's the deal, if I were to exchange grass, it gives me grass. Whereas without silk touch, it should be giving you dirt. Should, should. So can I put like a cool, cool window in here? Like maybe like right up here? And then we can bump your range up. Let's see if I turn on fuzzy and I bump the range up. Like a nice five by five. Right there. Would that be cool? I think that looks good, right? And it's one, two, three, four, five up. And then six up from the door. I mean, that's fine, right? So five down, and that's what we got. Okay, cool. Give me more of that glass, please. Oh, missing sand. Really need to get that cobble works under control. So I think another, so that's 25 each, right? So let's say a stack and a half ought to do. Eh, that should be good. Sweet. So then we should have no problem doing something like that, right? That looks cool, right? I like that. Yeah, that looks good. Sign me up. There's a windmill for you. Is it the best windmill in the world? 
Probably not. Hopefully it's not the worst. How do we feel about one more window kind of in the center? Ah, I like that. That looks good. Yeah, I'm down with that. And then you don't get a window here because you have a door here. All right. That's cool. All right. So with that said, uh, let's plan out for where our windmill is going to be. So windmill, my friend, will probably just come straight out here. Wow, you take a long time to break. You need that. Uh, let's get, put this away, most of these things away, I think. Um, let's get more shafts. That'll do. Right? Do we want you coming? Because what I could also do is just pop you up the top of this dude. Yeah, maybe I want you sticking out the top here. That might be cool. So then, yeah, that's that's what I want. I want you coming up right up here. And then I'm going to say, go that way. And that'll be where our windmill goes. Now the windmill bearing needs a turntable. And that's otherwise very easy to make. Cool. Does that look good or do I want him a little bit tighter? I think I want a little bit tighter. Does that look good or do I want him a little bit tighter? I think I want him a little bit tighter. Did I already say that? Yeah. Because I think I want him flush with the building, or do I want him one block space away? Because if that's flush with the building, is that too close, you think, to the building for comfort? I might want him... Yeah, I guess I'll push him out one more. Just so he's like one block space away from the building and we don't have any problems. I don't think we'd have a problem, but just I think it would look a little bit better. All right, cool. So that's going to be our windmill. Sweet. I like it. Now, in order to make the windmill work, what we're going to need is some shears. So I can get lots of wool. Now, I have been collecting wool between episodes a little bit here. As you can see, I've even got, you know, my sheep being a little bit good. Uh, so what we want... They're, yes, sail frames and then white sails. White sails is ultimately what we want, right? So what I think I'm going to do is real quick teach you how to make sails. How are you for, I am not great, not terrible. Yes. And yes. That should just be regular sticks. Right? And that should be fine. So now if I wanted a stack of those, we're missing 56 sticks. Do you not know how to make sticks from wood? You may not. It's very possible. It's very possible that you don't know how to make sticks from wood. Yeah, no, you totally don't. Um, what I'm going to do is just replace this chest for now. And uh, I think I'm going to kick off another gold crafter. But we'll put chests back in the thing later. So now, are you cool for sales? Can you give me like a stack of those? Doesn't seem to be a problem. Cool. So now what we can do is we want to put any block in the center here. Doesn't matter at all what block you use. Uh, let's use one more of those Gabbro dudes, right? Um, and sales will automatically connect. Now there's, there's three things you can place on this windmill to make it work. Frames, white sails, or just wool blocks. If you use wool blocks, though, you're, they're not going to automatically connect to each other. So we're going to want to keep that in mind, right? Now, I didn't count because I'm a dope, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want to say 11 is what I found in my spotlight to be the best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll start with nine. And we'll go from there. So I'm going to make this windmill like this. Basically, the more sail frames you put on this thing, the faster it'll rotate up to a point. So there's a max speed that we're going to care about. Um, so with this many sail frames, if we click this guy, he's going to start spinning and generating stress capacity, right? 
So that is 1,536 stress units. It looks pretty stupid though, right? Yeah, definitely. So we're gonna want this guy to go up, um, ish. Wow, you are, you are a wooden breaker. Like that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's going to look a little bit better, right? And then the same for over here. Nope, wrong. Wrong facing, direwolf. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to want some more sale frames. I just picked a random number. Eight, nine. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That looks cool. Just be a little bit careful with your clicking. Don't get too aggressive like me. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not too shabby. Now, if we go click this guy back here, boom, he's generating 6,656. So I'm gonna add two more on each side real quick off camera. All right, two more on either side, which makes a total of 11 out. And we're at 8192 stress capacity. That is the max, as we can tell by the fact that we got uh, assemble a windmill of maximum strength as a, as a uh, thingy. So, achievement get, sweet. So, uh, that's definitely wrapping up point for the episode, but what we've got now is rotational force, much stronger, right? 8192 definitely is way awesomer than the, you know, a thousand-ish that we're producing down here. So now we can run this windmill's power into here and that'll just run all the time constantly. Next episode, we'll come back and take advantage of this awesome windmill force. How'd I do? It's not the greatest looking windmill in the world, but I made a really strong effort. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. <laughs> this episode took me like four hours to record. Uh, Darwin 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.